couple of weeks ago, I got an email from HR, um, where I work at the moment, requesting me to provide my share code because on my BRP, it shows that my um, current visa, skilled worker visa, is going to expire on the 31st of December 2024. And I just want to be sure to know the exact duration of you know um, my rights to work in the UK. Now I was a bit confused because come on, this is the same employer that currently sponsors my skilled worker visa. You should have that details. <laughs> Basically, you are my sponsor, and I was a bit perplexed, so I ignored the email when it was sent. I probably thought probably it was like a generic email. Then I got another email a couple of days ago, about three or four days ago, asking me that oh. Um, this email was sent and it's a matter of urgency can I provide you know um, the um, share code for you know my current um, rights to work in the United Kingdom so I never really understood why they did that so of course I went on gov.uk um, for those who don't know how to of course just go on just type share code on gov.uk and you, you get directed to the right link on gov.uk and you can just answer the question being asked i think you're just going to provide your brp number and your date of birth then get your share code rights to work in the uk so i sent it to them so i never really understood why they asked until you know i got this particular information on what the government is really planning right now especially when it comes to rights to work in the uk and you know to be honest with you guys these are you know among many other reasons Will actually lead to so many people leaving the uk in the nearest future to be honest guys staying back in the uk the increasing cost of living is ridiculous and not just in the uk even in canada there are lots of videos online you know about people complaining on how the cost of living across these countries is really killing and for we in the uk for so many of us in the uk the um the issue is not only just in the cost of living even the immigration cost of women in the UK is really ridiculous. So yeah, I'm just going to be talking through you guys, you know, everything in relation to right to work, you know, being able to manage, um, you know, um, the increasing living cost, what immigrants need to put into place and get conscious of when it comes to, you know, living here in the United Kingdom, especially if you are still on the processment, um, you know, visa category at the moment. So yeah, if this is something you like to know, don't go anywhere. Keep watching till the end. And if you're coming across my channel for the first time, hit the subscribe button to join the amazing going family. So without, without further ado, let's get right into the video. The living in the UK right now is extremely expensive, to be honest. Especially if you need to switch visa, you know, single particular visa category. And you need to switch on that visa to another, you know, uh, visa category basically, especially for students who has got family. Honestly, it really sad the situation of things, but it is what it is to be honest. One just needs to make sure you're making informed decision and making life, you know, a bit easier for yourself and of course for your um, family. Now, um, you know, on the 6th of February 2024, which is about, um, I think, about um, two days to the time when this video is being made, um, the IHS uh, fee is going to increase uh, by 66% to about £1,035. And, you know, it's very important for, you know, people to really be aware of all of this, especially if you've got family, you've got a wife or, or you've got a husband and children, you need to also pay attention to the cost implication of staying back in the united kingdom you know because it's really not worth the investment paying over 11 what am i going to say it used to be 11 million back in 2019 2020 now you're probably going to be spending you know over 15 to 20 thousand pounds on relocation to the uk school fees inclusive depending on the university you attend now it's important for you to know that you definitely can't stay in the UK forever on the student visa you need to switch to another visa that allows you to work and live in the UK and you know amidst all of this um, new measures being put to place by the UK government is important to you know clarify the fact that it's becoming very expensive the immigration cost is becoming ridiculous at the moment and you need to be aware someone needs to actually reinforce that information so you have it in your, in your subconscious that oh rounding up your master's program this is at the cost application of that particular move now i'm going to share with you what the ihs fee is going to look like from the fifth of from the sixth of february 2024 now if you're an adult just you alone you've got no family you've got no wife you've got no kids just you alone from um february 6th the ihs charge um for a three years visa will be 
3,105. And if you're applying for a five years visa, you're going to be paying 5,175 pounds on IHS fee alone. Remember, you still need to pay your visa fee. And if you have a child, if you're applying for a child, um, that child is expected to pay 2,328 pounds for the IHS fee for three years and 3,880 uh, pounds for the IHS fee for five years visa. So if you're an adult, you're two adults in the family, you've got X number of children, then you need to multiply all of this value by the number of adults and number of children. So if you've got two adults, probably just you and your partner, no other person. If you're getting um, a three years visa, you're required to pay 6,210 pounds. And for a five years visa, you're gonna spend in a whooping sum of 10,000, 350 pounds on your IHS fee alone. That's obviously excluding your visa fee. But if you're not two adults with a child, you're paying 8,538 and 14,230 for a five years visa. Then if you're a family of four, husband, wife, and two kids, your IHS fee for a three years visa is 10,866 and IHS for a six, for a five years visa is 18,110. Pounds. That's practically enough to pay for deposits to buy a house here in the UK in certain cities. And it's really sad because this uh, cost is non-negotiable. The only way you can escape the IHS fee is by getting a job in the health and care space, probably as uh, an healthcare assistant or as a nurse or a doctor, anything healthcare related. But the major challenge with this now is from 11th of March 2024, if you've got a family, you can't you know, your partner, your children can't join you on that visa, so it becomes very difficult. So it means that um, the way people have been trying to boycott or avoid the IHS fee has been closed. We can't say forever, IHS, uh, UK immigration changes from time to time, depending on the need of the, of the, you know, of the government. So yeah, that's really the sad reality. It's something that, you know, we never expected to happen, but yeah, it is, it has happened, so we just need to live by it and find a way um, around this, basically. So yeah, and the, the major challenge is we can't afford to, you know, when I got this email from the, um, you know, from my current employer asking to provide a share code, I was a bit confused and I later discovered that the reason this request was made by my employer was majorly because um, the home office sent a revised you know um information to them um they are actually making some changes on you know um the fine that comes with employing someone who has no rights to work in the uk and that's where the uk works basically um nobody questions anything except another person raises an issue on it if that makes sense so my employer will probably don't get to ask any question until someone say oh um we got an email or a, uh, a circular from the home office saying oh this x number of fine well, let's see what the home office actually sent to these employers now the home office code of conduct on preventing illegal working has been updated following this month's uh, parliamentary vote marking um, the most substantial escalation in civil penalties for employers hiring um individuals without proper work authorization since 2014. Now, effective from February 13th, 2024, the right to work fine triples, reaching out to 45,000 pounds per worker for initial breaches and 60,000 pounds per worker for, repeat, for repeated uh, violation. Um, landlords renting to migrants without proper documentation also face you know f10 penalties so this is not just restricted to employers even landlords that give houses to people that don't have the rights to live in the uk they also get all of those um, penalties so it means that you can't even afford to live illegally in the uk unlike the us where if you don't have papers you can still survive you can have a business you can work and all of that but here in the uk you definitely can't so that is obviously not an option so guys, that's really the reality and with the look of things, people, lots of people are actually going to have to leave the United Kingdom because if you can't afford, you're, you're working 20 hours per week and the jobs are not even there anymore. You know, so I know a lot, a lot of people who are, you know, have been in the UK for months and are struggling to get a job because the job market is becoming saturated, especially for, um, you know, um, these survivor jobs that we are you know, did or some still do uh, you know, here in the UK, it's going to be really saturated. So it's really challenging to even make 
that substantial amount of money. So that's what I tell people, if you're coming to the UK, please have enough money with you. Don't come here to think you're going to work and pay up your tuition fee. It doesn't work like that anymore. It's really becoming challenging because for every visa you apply for, you're spending a fortune to actually get those visas. So yeah, please make sure you are well prepared, especially for those who have got a family. Make sure you are well prepared, please. Don't fall a victim of you know struggling to pay your bills because you came into the UK without proper planning. So yeah, if you have any question in relation to immigration generally in the UK, please tell in the comment section. And if you're coming across my channel for the first time, do it do well to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to join the amazing going family. And my returning subscribers, thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. So this will be the end of this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.